Hey, good morning guys. Um, just out here working on the roof again uh, this morning. I just posted a quick uh, video yesterday, so it's kind of a part number two per se on what I'm doing and what I plan to do. Um, so yeah, just uh, still, uh, still a little bit bored here, so I figured I'd uh, just start posting a little bit of stuff, keep everybody amused, if nothing else. Um, so anyway, I kind of diving in a little bit here. So um, what I had planned this morning when I came out was basically to, here I'll just show you guys, <clears throat> was basically to um, to sand this down flat uh, because of other laminations and stuff like that. There's some humps and bumps and that sort of thing. So I wanted to fl um, flatten this out with the sander and then uh, and then apply some putty, some polyester putty, and then maybe a layer of cloth and call it a day sort of thing. So while I was doing that, I'm like, oh man, I noticed that this joint right here has got quite a bit of a rise in it. Um, I don't know if this is the short version versus the long version or where it was joined, I have no idea, but regardless, this is what I have to deal with. Um, so again, like I say, I was just going to, uh, you know, kind of sand it flat and then apply a putty just to fill in all the, uh, all the little dips and stuff, make it, make it flat again and then apply, you know, a layer of chop or something like that on here. And then maybe, uh, put the, um, put the gel coat on top of that. My second thought was while I was doing it, it was like, oh man, it'd be so much easier if I took up these ribs, these support ribs, and then I can I can sand everything flat and put a layer or two a chop mat on there, reapply the uh, reapply the uh, supporting ribs, and then I know that it's 110 percent, and there's no second guessing, there's no nothing. So when I when I started looking, I noticed that this one is really quite a bit darker than all the other ones. So I'm not sure if this one was exposed to the outside quite a bit more or I have no idea. But when I picked this when I picked this roof roof up when I bought the boat and stuff like that, when I picked it up, it was it was filled with water. It was like a little little pool here. Um, and I it, it looked like it was it was in that condition for quite a while. There were leaves, there was a lot of sediment and stuff like that. Um, in, in the troughs and stuff um, in between these support ribs. So because of that, I mean, obviously it gave quite a bit of time for water to seep in and, uh, you know, just wick in through with, into the wood and stuff, um, which is not good. I kind of left this little project to the last, meaning now, just because it was inside all winter when I was working on the other boat it was inside the day that I got the boat home and got it inside in the shop um, this was inside as well and I wanted inside for it to basically dry out because I knew the condition that it was in um, for when I for when I go to to start it so it's been a good probably uh, two months two and a half months now picked it up just before Christmas um, so uh, yeah well three months now so um, and there's still there's still water this one when I took it up it was it was damp it wasn't wet it wasn't waterlogged it wasn't soaked by no means but it was damp on the bottom and then I don't know if it's still here or not but yeah it is see there's water there so That leads me to believe that, oh geez, I don't know. I got a couple of options. I can go ahead and remove all these, like I say, sand it all down flat, put a couple of chop mats on here. I'd be 100% good knowing that everything is basically in great shape from, from, from the wood up. If I leave as is, and I just deal with this one and possibly this one right here. This one I might remove as well and see what it's like. So if I just deal with that one and that one, replace these two, 
sand it flat from this one right to the very edge put in chop mat here only and replace these two just say that these are good I mean they, they do actually look pretty good there's no dark spots in them um, but there were a lot there are a lot of, there were a lot of staples along the edging where the uh, liner was and stuff so again it just gave an opportunity for water to get in but I don't think I don't think it's as bad as what these ones were now I don't know if again whether it was exposed to the outside during the life of the boat I didn't take this apart and I don't know how the bulkhead the back bulkhead is actually installed or how it's placed yet so as I'm building I mean I'll, I'll get that information I'm sure you guys will help me out on that but um, I'm assuming that this side was where the washroom was probably to well probably to this edge right here I think that's where the bulkhead went because there's a lot of screw holes and stuff like that here from here to here I think is where the washroom was and then down here there's a I've already filled it um, and I think this is where the, there's an aluminum pipe um, or a chaseway that all the wires and everything from the command bridge went down through and into the controls and the dash down in the down in the cabin area so I'm pretty sure that that's what that is um, I've already sanded down it was built up quite a bit here but I've already sanded that down so again guys I'm just uh, yeah I want to throw it out there see what your thoughts are how should I approach this what should I do any other ideas that I'm really not uh, considering or thinking on right now um, just let me know and uh, you know I'm open to whatever um, I kind of, I think I have an idea what I'm going to do, but I just want you guys to to let me know. Um, this was not glass. This is not glassed in. This is where the windshield. This sits onto the windshield, so this would be the top of the windshield that meets up with um, the underside of the roof. Um, this is not glass. It's just raw wood. I think by the looks of it, it's just got gel coat on it. Um, it's tabbed in on the side. There's a little bit of glass or resin. I, oops, yeah, maybe it's just resin actually, um, on the outside. So this has all got to be removed and replaced with new. Um, it's going to be glassed in. All the sides, new sides, they're going to be glassed in as well. And um, yeah. So this is it. Let me know. Let me know. So again, all the holes that I done were, um, I just used the drill again. This is, this is just a countersink, that's all it is. I just wanted to open up all the holes so that there's some fresh material um, that was exposed for the new material to bond to, the new polyester to bond to. Um, there's some, the wood doesn't look to be too bad. Um, there's some dark spots for sure, but I don't think it's uh, rotten. I'm going to poke at it a little bit here and, uh, and just see, see how soft it is. All the outside I put, um, I sand it all down, put a layer of chop mat as well as what they call boat cloth. Now, mm, do I have any? So I, I think some people call it veil or something like that as well, but some guys call it boat cloth. So it's just a, uh, yeah, it's a very thin material. And um, and then after I done that, I just put uh, two uh, coats of gel coat on it just to seal it up for until I get a chance to go ahead and then finish it off with paint so that's all it is it's just a sealer coat but it turned out well I'm quite happy with it um, all the holes are filled in you can see some of the holes right here there's a hole filled there and a hole filled there so all the holes are filled and now um, She's upside down, ready to do the next the next stage. So any of you guys, yeah, let me know what you think.
uh, what do I do? How do I do it? What's your thoughts? And um, we'll go from there. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks and have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.